Who goes there? Orochi, it's been a while. Prisea, who do you have with you? Hina asked me to bring them to Mizuho. You spoke with the chief. Is she all right? Well, you see... Wait, we should discuss this at Elder Igaguri's place. We have other visitors who might like to hear. Visitors? Yes, Rain and Genus are here. Really? Uh, yes. You are acquainted with Rain? They apparently traveled with her before. I see. Anyway, you can give us the full story at the Elder's house. Just as we thought, it's happening in other cities as well. Rain! Genus! Prisea? And Emil and Marta, too! What are you doing here? I brought these two with me from Altamira at Sheena's request. Altamira? Why were you in Altamira? Dreadful things have happened, you see. So that's what happened. You three were wise to come here. It's just as Magnar said. The Vanguard is instigating violent uprisings in cities around the world. Death to all Tether Islands! For the pride of Silverant! Rise up against Tether Allah! Long live the Silverant Dynasty! The political situation was already unstable after the world unification. The Vanguard is fanning the flames of the populace's dissatisfaction with the Tetha Islands and the Church of Martel. And there's no way to stop the revolt. What about Tetha Allah's royal army? I'm sure they have their hands full with just the Tetha Island cities. And if the Martel Knights try to put down the riots, it will only increase the intensity of the Vanguard's opposition. It doesn't help that there's still no unified government in Silveront. This isn't the sort of thing that a city watch could handle by itself. And they are planning on using a mana cannon. If they get that capability, not even the royal army could stand against them. Let's report all of this to Elder Igaguri. If the Vanguard needs Ratatosk's core, then we still have a chance. Right. So, the enemy plans to use a mana cannon to attack a Tetha Island city. If it comes to that, I have no doubt that the target would be Mel Tokyo. If the mana cannon is as powerful as the one Sheena used, it could easily blow away an entire city. Once they get their hands on Ratatosk's core, it's all over. Exactly. So we need to concentrate on Altamira and not the revolts in other cities. The Vanguard commander is stationed there right now. If a group as inexperienced as the Vanguard loses its leader, the rest of the organization will likely fall apart. If I understand you correctly, you're suggesting that we go after the Vanguard's commander. But Rain, the Vanguard's commander is Marta's father. I'm not saying that we have to kill him. Even if we captured him alive, after all of the things he's done, he may be executed. Marta. I understand. My father has done terrible things. Please, don't worry about me. Then we should send our units into Altamira as soon as possible. Help me in. Me too. I would also like to help. I'm sure I could be of service. Uh, I... Emil, you stay here and protect Marta. Why? As long as Ratatosk's core is safe, the worst-case scenario will not happen, so we must keep it that way. We cannot afford any delays. Make the necessary preparations immediately. All right, let's go and get ready. Do you think we're doing the right thing? 
What do you mean? They'll capture Daddy. Then they'll dismantle the Vanguard. Then we can wake up Ratatosk. Are you really okay with that? Well, what other way is there? You don't want to try talking with your father? Daddy won't listen to what I have to say. You heard him. He just won't listen. Then why did you go to the trouble of running away from the Vanguard? What? You said that you could never forgive your father's way of doing things. You were a member of the Vanguard yourself, and yet you're letting others do the most important work for you. You're okay with that? Then are you saying I should go fight my own father? No, I'm saying you should try talking with him. Just because it didn't work the first couple of times doesn't mean there's no hope at all. Roots, if someone else captures him, then that's it. That's the end. Are you really going to be okay with that? He's still your father. <sighs> Courage is the magic that turns dreams into reality. Courage is what helped me make true friends. That's why I'm giving my courage to you. Let's go to Altamira. Regal's there and Sheena as well. They both saved us when we needed them. And you need to talk to your father. Emil! The Vanguard is attacking. Everyone's at the village entrance right now holding them back. You have to get out of here. Give up the village. Emil, we can handle this. Go to Elder Igaguri's house. Look out! I won't let you into this village! Who's next? There's no end to this! They were after you like this the first time we met. You remember? Once you wake up Ratatosk, the Vanguard won't be able to do anything. That's... But Brute has Solemn's core. You won't be able to wake up Ratatosk if you keep running from Brute. Like the enemy withdrew for now. Are you still gonna keep running? Courage is the magic that turns dreams into reality. I want to see Daddy one more time. Are you serious? The Vanguard is after Ratatosk's core, remember? Yes, I know. But it's just... This whole time, I haven't done anything but run away. But you've been trying to wake up Ratatosk. That was just a roundabout way of stalling the vanguard. I was afraid to face my father. He had changed, so I just ran away from him. You're not afraid anymore? I'm afraid, but Emil shared his courage with me. Emil, and the other Emil too. Thank you. My other self said something to you? 
Yes, he did. Please, let me go to Altamira. Well, either way, the Vanguard knows that Marta's here. I don't really see a problem with her accompanying you. I think so, too. We can protect her. Rain, what do you think? You're against it, right? Oh, why would I be against it? Then it's okay. To tell the truth, I'd prefer to leave you behind. Huh? Never mind. Marta, you can come with us. Thank you. Then it's settled. I'll leave Marta with you, and we can meet up later in front of Altamira. Looks like Orochi isn't here yet. I'm right here. <laughs> yes, I was quite startled. You don't look very startled. That's our Persea. Always so cool and calm. No, I told you. He startled me. This conversation is giving me a headache. Let's just drop it. Thank you, Orochi. So what's the situation like in Altamira? It appears the Vanguard established their headquarters in Lesoreno Company Building Number 2. Building Number 2? It was built near Altamira's amusement park. If we attract any attention, the Vanguard will have a welcome party all ready and waiting for us at their headquarters. Then what should we do? Regal told me there's a tunnel underneath the hotel for employee use. If we can find that, it should take us right in front of Building Number 2. You think of everything, Persea. You're quite composed for your age. We'll seal off building number two so they can't call reinforcements. We'll take care of the Vanguard soldiers in the city. We'll leave infiltrating their headquarters to you. That's fine. The plan goes into effect at midnight tonight. Don't do anything that might arouse suspicion before then. All right. We should get going as well. They've got this place wrapped up tight. There's no way we'll be able to get in before midnight. What should we do? Starting a fight will get everyone's attention. We just need to get them out of the way, correct? Paw Pad. It's Tenebrae. If you're going to call me something ridiculous like Doggy or Paw Pad, I prefer you just call me Tenebi. Chill out, Tenebrae. What are you planning on doing? I'm planning on doing this. Nobody can resist the sight of a beautiful woman. Tenebrae, you can transform into anything you want? Yes, because I'm a centurion. Now then, watch a master at work. <laughs> Looks like everything worked out beautifully. <laughs> How long are you planning to stay like that? Why, Emil, honey, don't you like it? Wow, well, that's a switch. Maybe changing his shape changes his personality as well. I miss Pop Head. Anyway, let's wait here until dark. Our operation begins at midnight. Which way is it to the underground tunnel? Regal said all you have to do is get in the elevator and press the button marked for employees. Then let's relax until midnight. <laughs> This 
kind of leads to building number two. <sighs> Isaiah? I'm fine. My head just hurts a little. Now that you mention it, I feel a little short of breath all of a sudden. I believe you may be experiencing the effects of Solom's core's increased instability. The core must have been used for some truly nefarious deeds. Its powers have grown even more chaotic. What does that mean for us? The longer we stay here, those without Lord Ratatosk's protection may be affected by the core's precarious state and lose their sanity. In other words, we don't have any time to lose. I hope Regal and Sheena are okay. Even if they've been affected by Solom's core, they should return to normal as soon as Lady Marta hatches it. So if we find Brute and get the core back, everything will be settled. That's right. Daddy. Marta, are you alright? I'm fine. I have the courage you gave me. Tenebrae, the lady you turned into, is that what Centurions consider to be beautiful? Yes. We Centurions have a highly refined aesthetic sense. Well, what about Rain? Truly, a vision of beauty. My. And Prisea? Very lovely indeed. How nice. Okay, what about me? Why, you are beautiful as well, Lady Marta. So then, which of us is the most beautiful of all? I believe that would have to be me. <sighs> You really love yourself, don't you? This is it. I'm pretty sure building number two is just beyond this door. I wonder where Brute and where Marta's dad is. Usually, the most important person resides at the top. The top floor. They'll definitely spot us before we get up there. Yes. And a large corporation like the Lazareno Company is bound to have some pretty advanced security installed as well. No matter what we do, it's going to be quite difficult to stay undercover. Do you think we can find the blueprints of the building somewhere? If we could locate the security room, I believe we might be able to find the blueprints. That kind of thing is usually located in the basement. Then let's try to find a security room. Yes, let's do that. same equipment for a while now. You really like it that much? I'm more loyal than you might think. To my equipment and to you too. Uh-huh. When did this become about me? This will be easy. Let's finish this quickly. Yeah, I can't. 
Intruders! You're too weak. Oh, jeez. What's with all these weird machines? Hold on. I'll bring up the structural blueprints. I'll work on disarming the security system. You two are amazing. There we go. Take a look at the screen. Top floor. Maybe the president's office? There's an elevator that goes straight there. So we could go directly to where Brood is? Yes. However, security will be tight. That's why I suggest we split up into two groups. Won't it be more dangerous to divide our forces? I agree. That is certainly the case. But if we end up facing the full force of their soldiers, we'll fail. We have to divide the enemy's forces. So you're saying we need a diversion? Exactly. The decoy will create commotion around the elevator that leads to Brute. Our main unit will go up the emergency staircase. Then I'll be the decoy. Marta, you want to talk to your father, right? You should be in the main unit. But those in the decoy might get hurt. Either way is dangerous. Genus is right. Emile, Marta, and Tenebrae, you go up the emergency staircase. All right. You guys be careful. You too. I'm sorry, and thank you. Let's finish this quickly! Get him here! We've been alone together. You're right. Please don't forget about me. I haven't forgotten. It's just a matter of nuance. Oh, it's quite all right. The elderly are always being shoved aside. I thought you didn't like to be called old. It's a matter of nuance. Oh, come on! Why does the Lazareno Company need to have buildings this big? Maybe as a symbol of their success? But why do we have to suffer for it? A company's buildings should be simple and small. I know a way to make these buildings very small. How? Easy. We simply cause the Lesereno company to go bankrupt. Uh, I think Rico would kill us if he overheard this conversation. Easy. 